functions. Hello. Um, can I get a random word from the audience? Pineapple. No, I didn't mean that. Um. <laughs> Give me a few more. Just stay. All right. Did you redo? Uh, John set us up. Yeah. Do you want to come in to my yeah. apartment? Uh, um, you must tell I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah, I'm not a little nervous too. First <laughs> date. Uh, yeah. Well, did you do last time? Yeah, yeah, right. Well, date not and did, did. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was in my date book because. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, wait, you can. Oh. Um, <laughs> you, can, you can pick a did you do from the wall. Um, have you ever played before? There's so many. Yeah, I have a couple. Um, <laughs> just, just grab one. There's also a back room. I have a couple. <laughs> okay, can I check out the back room? Uh, I wouldn't go with the back room now. Maybe uh, in a couple weeks. Maybe a little more experienced. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 this one. Okay. Uh, so, have you ever played any any of uh, wood instruments? Any nope, not instruments? at all. Okay, just try blowing in to the video. See what happens. Oh my god. I was not at that level for three years. <laughs> really? That is incredible. <laughs> Sir, I, I, are you sure you've never played the didgeridoo before? Never in my life. <laughs> you should play Beethoven's sixth uh, didgeridoo <laughs> symphony. <laughs> oh my god. Am I a prodigy? You're more than a prodigy. You're better. Can you teach me? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. Take, take it. OK, well, this is what I know. I, I, you, you went much more than me. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's in the lips. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so you want to like cut them out like that. Okay. <laughs> Try yeah, that's just that's why are you a didgeridoo teacher? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think you should we should swap lives. I should be the didgeridoo teacher and you can be the school teacher. You're a school teacher, actually. Oh. I always work with kids. Yeah, that's, that's great. So let's just change play and now and so that lesson was seventy five dollars. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I I can look at my uh, date book about. Uh, do you want to have another lesson? I don't know. No. Um, but yeah, uh, next Thursday. How about that? Oh, actually, I'm teaching. I'm teaching. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That must be a, a hard life being a teacher. I mean, the public school system. The, the public school system is yeah, really failing. No farming one. Thank you, guys. Hi, Jane. All right, so I'm Alex. I'm your MC. Um, our next game, we're going to play Survivor. So, can I have five people up? And um, can we just get a place? Oh, a toy shop. A toy shop. Uh, we're gonna go with a toy shop. Can you move down, guys? Right up to us. Okay. You guys are in a toy shop. Hi. Jovis, what are you building over there? I'm building, it's a tower. Oh, is, Lego. That, is that pavilion, Vermont? I want the tower. Yep, yep, Jimmy. Billy, freeze! Tower. Everyone on the ground! Everyone on the ground! On the ground! On the ground! Stand and ride us out? Give me all the nutcrackers in the shop! <laughs> What's your name? Jovis. Jovis, what are you making? It's just a tower, there's no nutcrackers. <laughs> Your tower's dead! The tower's dead! The tower! You, get up! What's your name? Clyde. 
have this. <laughs> Do you want to help me steal the nutcrackers now? Say what now? Nutcrackers. We're stealing them. You're stealing the nutcrackers? <laughs> Jimmy, do we steal them? No! I can't! Oh, stand by! I can't! I can't let this happen! You know where my son is. I love these nutcrackers. See it! Alright. By round of applause, we're gonna vote these people off the island. So, if you want Mina to leave this scene, clap. Henry? Jonathan? Okay. All right. Move down, guys. Yeah, we're so far. He chose this. What are you building? I'm building the tower. It's like a tower. It's my tower. Get in here. It's my tower. You can't have it. You need to see it. Situation, two people can be in. Teacher student. What? Teacher student. Teacher student, like that. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a dentist Liar. and a patient. What's that? Stuart, flight attendant and flyer. Ooh, yeah, okay. So we have a, um, a flight attendant and a passenger. Okay. All right, and uh, we're going to come up with some silly stuff. So go ahead. So just go. Sir, can I get you anything? Um, yeah, can I have some of those in-flight peanuts you guys have? Oh, of course, of course. Here you go. Oh, these are salted. Well, that's the kind we serve. Yeah, but I'm, I'm deathly allergic to salt. How deathly? Like, uh, well, one time when I was seven I ate it at a birthday party, and my neck swelled up. Oh, sister, I'm sorry, we don't have time for your childhood story. <laughs> okay, well. How deathly? I, I guess, I mean, I can eat one. Okay, now we need a style of uh, of performing, like uh, we can have an opera 
or we could Mine. have Phil Noir. Let's have Phil Noir. Uh, it's like, never mind. Never mind. Western. A Western. You guys know Western. Mine. You're telling me you can't get unsalted peanuts? Oh, well, sir, of course not. This is a professional airplane. There is not room in this plane for me and these peanuts. You know what, sir? You know what, sir? Why don't you just jump out the window if you really don't like this plane? I don't think there's room in here for the two of us. Oh, well, really? Because <laughs> I'm ready. We're going to go fast. Mine. Mine. Another style. Mine. Or mine. 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 Yes. Like mine. <laughs> mine. Craig. 
Craig. Craig. What's your name? <laughs> well, no, my name's Doc Wisely. They let me out of the old home to come visit. Oh, hello, Doc Wisely. Yes, I'm good, and I'm the only Britsman here, so it seems as if I've got this one in the bag. Hey. Well, right in the bag with the cat. Right in the bag with the sausage and the cat. All right. <laughs> anyway. Um, what do you do? Well, I'm in, I'm in a nursing home right now. I'm pretty feeble in my old age, but uh, I still have some fun. Feeble yet wise, I'm sure. Oh, thank you. Oh, you sunny oh. boy. Oh, you're a good one. Okay, I so love your hair. the first rules of the dating game is for this lovely Mabel to ask a question to any of these bachelors. What's your first question? Yeah, yes, I have a question for the Brit. Um, I have fun. That's me, I know. It's not a big problem, but wish it was a big problem. I need to know if my daughter's man will be around to, you know, to cuddle the fish, per se. I mean, <laughs> I can, basically I'm asking for any masseuse experience and availability. Masseuse availability and experience, well that will work as fine. So we must ask the first question to the first contestant. What is your answer? David, or Arthur, or whatever. I, I have no experience with um, massage. Are you lying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no experience with masseuse, actually. I went to school for uh, six years. Whoa! <laughs> massage, yeah. It's quite the, quite the time. I'm not lying. OK. <laughs> How about you, good sir? Well, my mom's my physical trainer, so she'll be, uh, you know, rum right out. Your mom's a physical trainer? And do a... But do you have experience? Oh, uh, not really, then. Oh, but like, you can call your mum over. But she can live with me and my mum. That sounds very, very romantic, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, what about you, Doc Swinger? Well, I'm not much of a, not much of a masseuse, but I love the old doctor suit, so I'm a bit, oh, of, really? I'm a bit of a comedian myself, you know. Oh, really? Yes, oh. Wow. Yes, you want to hear a joke? I'd love to hear a joke, sure. Step one for us. What is the worst TV show in the whole world? I don't know, what's the worst TV this show? This one! <laughs> oh, you got me right oh. in the nickers. I got you right now, Nicholas. Okay, <laughs> well, we're gonna drop the okay, run. Okay. What is your second question, Mabel? Well, every Thanksgiving, I like to prepare a nice What's coffee. Thanksgiving? <laughs> Are you an American? Are you a Yankee, love? I'm a, I'm a Yankee with a British accent, actually. I love really? British culture. And so every the Thanksgiving, I prepare a nice kosher meal. Okay. With no cheese and meat, because they don't go together, and no pork. So I'm wondering what you would bring to my feast and why. I don't think she's British, but okay. <laughs> well, what, what would you bring to uh, Mabel's feast? Well, I'm a, I'm a great chef, so. Are you? No. Um, <laughs> Most of I just make stuff out of my microwave. I'm kidding. I don't. You don't have a microwave, do you? No, I don't. Uh, my parents don't believe in uh, modern technology, so... Do you have parents? No. Uh, I, I do, I'm kidding. Um, I, I don't know what I would bring, I guess. I guess I would bring uh, just, just a loaf of bread. Loaf of bread? Pumpernickel, perhaps? You know, well, you know that chouses the mood? Yep. <laughs> All right, what, what, what would you bring? Well, uh, come right off the pitch, then. We'd uh, probably have some gay ride. Some um, gay, what? <laughs> power bars. Oh, yes. You know, energy shake. Love the protein. Oh, of course, get good shape then. You're muscular, like oh. me. Ready for the next match? Oh, so ready. Mm. Okay. Oh, yes. All right, Dr. Swiler, what do you have for your fine input? Oh, you know I'm going to bring something great. I I'd, do. I'd probably whip on a nice cod liver pile. Cod you know liver I mean. pie, no way. <laughs> no, just a pile, not a pie. Oh. <laughs> just a pile. A pile. Just a little heap, you know what I mean? Oh, a heap. Oh, I yes. just put it in a heap. Oh. <laughs> like the and, uh, and, and of course, my stunning and generous personality, you know what I mean? Oh, bring that, oh yes. Oh yes, I'll bring wow. it in a basket. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. it looks like we have perhaps one more question. Am I right? Producer, do we have the time for one more? Yeah, we have time for one more. Oh, okay, great! Producer's not even a Britsman. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what is your final question? Make it a dashing one. Well, I don't like to say that I care about money, because I don't. <laughs> I don't. But, rough estimate of what's in your bank account. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sirs. A rough estimate of what's in your bank account. 
well, uh, my, my family doesn't really believe in paper money, per se, or even electronic money. Really? Really believe in, in trading for goods. Trading for goods? Yeah. I hope he's lying again. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> I was kidding. No, I, I, are, you I was. are you a millionaire? No. Are you a billionaire? No. Okay. What are you? Answer the damn question. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have a fair amount of, fair amount of money. A fair um, amount? Like a princess, perhaps. <laughs> 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 What about you, my yeah. dashing devil? So they're asking, uh, what's in my bank account? What's in your bank account? <laughs> well, it's uh, really my mom's. Uh, you know, mom? I don't have my. I could give her a call. You put your mom in your bank account? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she owns the bank account. I give her a call. Come on. Give her a call. Hey, hey mom. Mom. No, what a jerk. No, I haven't. I haven't run the errands yet. No, I'll get the toilet paper. Okay, well, forget him. <laughs> oh, wait, what about you? What's in your bank account? Oh, let, let me just let me just do the sums real quick. Do the sums. Do them well, all. I think it'd be about fifty million pounds in it. Fifty million pounds. Yes, I oh. inv I invented the plum. You invented the plum. <laughs> I did. And guess what? I've got a castle offshore. What with the little weekend getaway, a then weekend we getaway. could oh, we I could thought... sell if we wanted to. You know, buy a, a dog or something like that. You know, only, only, the, only, only the purebred dogs. You know, yes. Yeah, so okay. Purebred, I'll be eating it. Purebred. Oh, he brought the bread too. Oh wait, no, you brought the bread. Oh, I'm so confused. Okay. <laughs> when it looks like you'll have to make a decision for your daughter. That's luck. Who's it going to be? This is a right proper kid. Well, contestant number one, contestant number two, or this dashing devil dog swider. <laughs> well, I think number one might be, wait, okay. might be lying. Ooh. And because I think he's lying, I think he's a prince. Contestant number one! Well, this is quite the turn of events indeed! Well, 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 sir, stand up! Stand up! <laughs>
kids start to go like this. Yeah. And I said, no. No. Are they going to have a fit right here? And the parents did nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. They just let those kids cry. I wanted to smash my head into the wall. And that gives me the blues. Blues, brother. Gives me the blues. An occupation, a job, a tax hobby. It's both actually. A meter, 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 meter maid. Yeah, let's do meter maid. Meter maid. All right, and now we just need one last thing, a random sentence. First thing that pops into your head. Get out of here. Way too bright. 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 <laughs> Too bright. If that's too bright for me, what's it gonna be like in a fire? Oh no! What? Wait, that, that, that's not that's, that's not even fire looks like. How do you know what fire looks like? Have you ever been on duty? No, right. Have you ever been on duty? No, this is my first time, man. I tell you, out on the streets, it's not gonna be like this. Oh god, I'm so scared. When you try to put the ticket on the person's car, <laughs> they will come running at you, and oh god. you don't want to deal with a mother with three kids in her minivan. <laughs> you don't know what it's like. What do I do? I mean, if somebody's coming at me, what do I do? Do I get a teaser or... Oh, what do I do? What do I do? It looks oh my god! <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Get the toenail clippers. How did you hardly get this long? <laughs> I don't know. I, was, uh, I just forgot about it. it got okay, I'll, I'll get the <laughs> This might hurt a little bit. Okay. Okay, right. this might hurt a little bit, but you need okay. to go at the light like it's the fire. Just go at it, it, okay? Go Three, in. two, one, go! Okay. Go in! Alright, All go right. in. Let's go. Go. Okay. Ah! Oh, is it gone? Well, here it is. Do you want to a souvenir? We did it. Well, can I pass? I like to. We did it. I gave my first parking ticket. I'm oh. proud of you. <laughs> now you know we need to do more. Of it. It's just not. Now you know we need to do more of this, like the real one. You know we need to do more of them. I know every single car has the same thing. <laughs> okay, should I do the next one? Do it. Oh! 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 Did you get it? I think I think I did. Yeah. Oh, it has a little more. Oh! 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 They're parked in the fire lane. Oh. This, is, this is for you. I remember my first parking fire lane ticket. Yeah. <laughs> it was this bright day. You gotta do this. It's gonna change your life. You gotta do this. It's gonna change your life or end your life, but most likely I got, change. I got the hose. Okay. Okay. Three. Two. One, one, two, one. Oh, no. <laughs> See. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we're gonna play a silly little game called Ding. So uh, let's have two people up and somebody to call Ding. Um, Jake, why don't you call Ding? Um, we, for this game, let's get a uh, relationship between two people. Um, Lawyer and defendant. Perfect. Lawyer and defendant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, like, are you gonna, like, make it so I'm not guilty, right? Yeah, all you gotta say is I didn't kill him. Dead. Great. 
All you gotta say is I didn't steal that car. Great. Uh, I, I did though, like you know that. Right? Yeah, no, I know we know that. <laughs> okay, uh, alright. But we're pretending you didn't tell me. Okay, alright, cool. I, I, yeah, I know that, and I can't pretend that you didn't tell me that because I have such a good conscience. But, you did, we, we're just gonna go in that courtroom and you're gonna tell the judge I did not steal that car. Yeah, okay, I'm ready, I got it. Dang. I got it. Uh, yeah, so I'm terrible at lying. I'm just probably just gonna tell him what I did, honestly. <laughs> okay, um, well, then we're looking at six to seven years. Dang. Eight to nine years. Dang. 24 to 73 years. <laughs> okay, um, uh, alright, so. You could do 73, no problem. Dang. It's true. You could not do 73. You would not last a day in jail. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, I'll lie about it. I'll lie about it. Um, so I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna be like, what are you, like, what's the scenario? Are you gonna? Okay, I, you okay. I'm. We're pretending I'm the judge. Okay. Hey. We're pretending I am the guy who brings you up to the to the. Okay. Okay. Now I'm the judge. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Mr. Jones. Did you steal that car? Sorry. <laughs> uh, jukebox, yes, we'll play jukebox, ne jukebox next. Uh, we need two hosts, and we need at least three performers. Uh, I'm going to choose you if you don't go up. Alright, there we go. Um, so, for this, we're going to host a little radio show. Um, here in Hanny, Hallie Flanagan. Um, so what we need is a theme for our radio show. Um, plumber music. Nice. Plumber music? All of this. Plumber music. Interesting. Um, <laughs> like a theme of music, like like um, Valentine's Day. Winter, Winter Olympics. Halloween. Disco. Disco. Okay. That's a that's a genre. That's a genre. We're gonna go with uh, Halloween. Can you do that? For sure. All right, great. Um. So, uh, let's uh, let's give it to our radio host. Hello, everybody. This evening, I'm Spooky Sam. And I'm Scary. Sam also. Oh, scary uh, Sam. You broke world name Sam. Yeah, it's kind of our like gimmick on our radio show. So anyway, um, today we're gonna play some Halloween songs. Just kind of a throwback to when Halloween happened. Get getting back in the mood. A couple for New months years. ago. Yeah. <laughs> just New Year's is kind of similar to Halloween in some ways. Let's get some callers. Someone I mean, call in with a song. Let's hear it. Uh, ring 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 ring. Uh, yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hi. Can I? I hear. Um, can I hear uh, Ghosts on the Block uh, by Jay-Z? Yes, you can. That's that one song. of my favorite songs. I'm gonna, have to, gonna have to censor it a little bit though, you know. All right, <laughs> Ghosts on the Block. Make a phone Mike's noise first, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't hear the phone ring. Bring, bring, bring. Uh, is someone call? This one? Taylor, Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift, spook it off. Taylor Swift, spook it off. <laughs> oh, Jake loves that song. <laughs> this was a tear jerk. Hey guys, it's me, Tay. I'm pretty great. I'm ditching the whole country thing, though. Drop something new. I love your hair.
Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Uh, I think it's almost like cutting onions in here. Uh, I, my eyes are watering. Brings us back that. to last Halloween. Yeah. All right, let's not talk about that. Um, <laughs> yes? Yeah. Yes? Can I hear uh, Howling Like a Ghost by Elvis Presley? Yes, you can. <laughs> so bring back the oldies. Yeah. Well, how you doing there today? Good. Oh, we played a song. Howling Like a Ghost. Halloween, walk down the street, trick or treat, and I got hello candy. Woo! I'm a ghost. <laughs> so I was walking down to the next house, knocked on the door, there was nobody home. So what I do, I howl like a ghost. I but then, from the house, very slowly it rose, I heard a... There's another ghost in the house. So what I do, I ran from that house. I ran, I ran, the ghosts were scary. And then I went home. I sat down, I looked at my candy. And then I remembered, Ghost Candy Candy. Mm. I think that's all we have for tonight, but uh... Next know. week we'll be going back to July 4th. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> We're just moving in reverse, uh, reverse time. See you, thank you all for it. Tattoo. That's right, Dad. Yeah. Oh, so you were doing. That's why it's back. The rating's backwards. <laughs> oh. No, it's okay. Oh. Just here's what I gotta do mirrors on either side. That way people see in the mirror and it's facing the right, it's the right way. But, Dad, you know I'm afraid of mirrors. Sing about it. Why do you- Yes! 
Why didn't you ever tell me I was a goblin? I figured you knew since I'm a goblin. Oh! I thought I was human. I thought I was adopted or something. You've seen all your relatives? You've been to the holidays? Yeah, but everyone else in the world is just a human. What an idiot. We need to get them back. It's not fair. It's not fair. Ah! Why are we so ugly? I don't know. What are we gonna do about it? We're gonna go and bust up the show. We're gonna stop in the middle. Yeah, let's play. No more improv show. Yeah. January 23rd, Friday evening at the high school. Mark that date. And then March 20th is a really big deal. It's Funky Tones, which is Functionless and the North Ham Tones. Um, and then hopefully in May we'll be doing a 10th reunion. Um, and also, again, there's information about the theater classes I offer kids and teens. So, you're on for whichever. All right. Um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna play a really quick round of Paperback Writers. So Gabe, if you wanna pull up a chair. And alums, please come up. Yeah. I see you back there. Yeah, um, let's, uh, let's get uh, the book or the play, the story that you would like to see written that hasn't been written yet. <laughs> Any other ideas? Few <laughs> others. Motorcycle gang. A motor. Uh, the story of uh, Gabe's motorcycle gang. <laughs> okay. The schizophrenic character. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Tonight, I'm gonna gonna tell you a little story, a little campfire story of my past. The end of the world. Okay. <laughs> no, yes, and this, and this time. Um, so, once upon a time, I lived in, in ancient Egypt with the, with the pharaohs and the pyramids. The currency was palm trees, and all the people were happy and danced and sang every day. But one day, I came to town, me, in my motorcycle gang, featuring the leader, Sam Gunnett. We rode into town on our Harleys, and we ran over the pyramid. And then, we found the pharaoh, the mighty pharaoh. And we had a standoff. We pointed out to him that he was not a nice leader, and he made people fan him with palm leaves, which were actually money. <laughs> Such a waste. We tried to reason with him. For 40 days and 40 nights, we tried and tried, but he did not listen. He simply trotted on by and gave us 
gave us no thought or attention. So eventually, we had to make a plan. We reconvened, and we decided to go to the temple and lure him out with fine cheese and play from France. Because we knew the Pharaoh had a weakness for this kind of cheese. So we made a slow trail to lead him out of the pyramid. And he turned into a mouse to follow it. A mighty mouse. With huge rotating ears. When finally when, when he reached the edge of the cheese trail, he found a giant piece of cheese. But as he began to eat it, it turned into a child who put him in handcuffs. <laughs> and that was the day that we defeated the Pharaoh forever. Fucking awesome. Um, we'll start it out as 10 themes and we'll just go to Funkin' Awesome. So, um, um, Funkin' Awesome is basically a combination of all improv games. Every rule that goes, break the rules, we don't care. Um, it should be really fun. Um, all we need is a prompt to start us off and we'll just go and go and go. Um, uh, any everyday objects, um, something you would find in your attic, uh, a treasure chest. A pasta fork. A pasta fork. All right, uh, we're gonna go with boa, whatever that means to you. It's fun. 
off. That's why I put them on half off. No one will buy them otherwise. But that's not what you believed when we started this, Jamie. The, the quality has gone down. Sharon. They just don't make them like they used to in China anymore. That's not my fault. It's the kids over in China. <laughs> what? It is my fault. <laughs> I I hand make them. Now, I don't want to pay for the Jamie, for the importing them. That's what you've been doing every night when I thought you were at the clubs? Yes, it is. I just wanted to seem cool, so I said I was going to the clubs. You've been lying to me for three years, Jamie, and now this? For the quality of our shop, I've been saving money. So so Thomas can go to college. Excuse me, are you Thomas, still you're going to college? Sharon, are you thankful? Yes, I don't know, Thomas! See, this is all the money I got from Egypt. It's great. <laughs> Thomas, that's Wait, you got you got money from Egypt? So I didn't even need to be doing this? Well, oh, deep in your heart, I think you knew. It was the right thing. Oh, I knew. <laughs> I'm going to go but to I the to know. Western. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you rick taken benefactor. You take me in the day and... Yeah. But you know what else that money could be good for? What, Sharon? That money's enough to keep this shop running for another 350 years. Sounds damn right. So, I'm going to draw. Thomas, <laughs> give me the money. Thomas, give me the money. You'll have to go through me first. That's what I'm planning to do. Put the gun down, Thomas. Thomas? We got the place around him. Well, I got my boa constrictor gang right here with me. Well, I got my Chinese kid gang right here with me. I've been paying them off for years so I can hand make the boat. I got the mom for the PTA gang right here with me. Come on, guys. Just the one. <laughs> Get your sewing machine ready. <laughs> All right. On the count of three. One. Two, three, ding, four. <laughs> Marcy? Look, I just feel like you wrote that long suicide note. Damn. You, you haven't written a suicide note yet, and for all of us that are going to be around afterwards, I, uh, I just, we want some closure. We're really fine with you going ahead with it, but we just, I don't know. It would be a lot better for the kids if they knew why you did it. So I wrote you a sample. Oh. You should, you should read it. Yeah. I'll, I'll take my red pen and try to mark it up. Yeah, I mean, read through it and see what you think. Conclusion is kind of soft. <laughs> oh my god, Marcy! This is amazing! Miguel, it's, it's the best suicide note I've ever written. And I, I wrote it for you. Well, I'm, I'm really thankful. So maybe at the, end of, at the end of this, we could get coffee or something. Because, uh, Gail, I love you. I love you so much. I love you enough to let you kill yourself. And then maybe we'll get coffee in the next in, in heaven. Just kill yourself. <laughs> Marcy, I can't do this to you. Sonny, we're hunting for balls. A wild boar? A wild boar. <laughs> Do you see any? Oh, I see one. No, oh, that's Grandma. Grandma, get inside. <laughs> <laughs> see! <laughs> 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 